idea of democratic education in 1987 when I founded the first school called Democratic School. And the main issue I think in this school was that uh, to find the uniqueness of everyone and that everyone find what is his strong area and what he want to do with his strong area and later to see the strong area of other of the kids that uh, around him and uh, begin to make a learning process that uh, they that everyone is a teacher and everyone is also a student also the main idea was to run a community that uh, it's a microcosmos of democratic education uh, the country uh, so we have uh, a weekly meeting, it's like a parliament that we make the decision. We have something like a court inside the school that the judges judge their students and teachers together. And we have a mediation process that keep the rules. So we build a structure of a school that similar to the life of adults outside of the school. For example, I think you, you you decide what you want to do. No one tell you what to do. Uh, you decide what you want to learn and how you want to learn and when you want to learn. But you need to keep the rule of the place that you work, the place of the city, of the states. We say to them that this is a very good question and, uh, and if they feel good with the knowledge that the adults today know or the kids know and how they feel with uh, the adults around them and, and the abilities to, to read and learn by themselves and then after they say that they feel bad with the situation today we begin to think together what we can do that it will be better because the situation today at school brings the situation outside school and it's not so good this situation especially it's it's easy to see that children that come from a high economy level they have a good achievement and uh, people that come from a uh, low economy, uh, social economy uh, families, they have uh, low achievement. So it means that the influence of the school is very limited. It's much more the family. So how we build a school that really make a difference? First of all, we don't tell them what to do, and that's very important because the basic assumption of the, the, the of the education system that the teacher doesn't know what they need to do, so they tell them the teacher what to do, and the assumption of the teacher that the student doesn't know what to do, they so, they, so we need to break this system. This uh, circle, and what we begin to do with the teacher, and uh, we begin to say to them, Let, "What do you want to do?" And that's shock them because they never thought they come to school to do what they told to do, and begin to build a process that support them to do what they want to do, and that can take a year. We don't talk about education, we don't talk about uh, the student, we talk about them. Especially we step by step show them that they are very interesting to us as a person. And we do it as a, a team of, a, a, of a teachers. So they, they begin to uh, uh, know one another and after they build trust between themselves 
they can also build a goal of connect to the student, connect to the school, and they become a team they, that trying to change the education system inside the class. So we don't bring something outside. We, we build it from bottom up. We, we build it uh, by tell them we trust you. We trust you totally. So, okay, if we trust you, what do you want to do?